Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, tagging languages like HTML and XML. And normally if you write these out by hand, people will indent things and make them easy to read. But a lot of websites out there are generated through scripts and the formatting is difficult to read. Whether this is on purpose by the designers of the site to make it harder for you to sift through the information, or if it's just the way the code is printing stuff out. Either way, if we need to read them, we want to make it a little bit easier to read. Now, normally I use wget to grab simple things like this, but just change things up today. I'm going to use curl. I'm going to say curl, and I'm going to say dash dash uh, silent. Um, that negates any excess information from curl about what's downloading, how fast it's downloading. And I'll just grab a, a website, http colon forward slash forward slash, I'll say www.msn.com. And I will hit enter here and you can see that we get the HTML code of that page but it's all kind of jumbled together. There's some places where it's nicely indented but you can see all the, there's a bunch of tags even in here that would be easier to read if they were on their own lines and indented. Well there is a tool that does that for you if you have it installed and it should be in your repositories if it's not. Um, XML Lint. I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it is, let's clear the screen here, XML L-I-N-T is the name of the program. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run our command that we ran before. So curl, silent, and the website we want to download to get the HTML code. And we're going to pipe that into our program that we're talking about, XML Lint and we're going to say dash dash html because we're working with html in this case dash dash format and then a dash so that it puts it to standard output and since it will be a lot of data I'm going to pipe that into more or less whichever you prefer and I'll hit enter here and as you can see although there's still lines that are jumbled together anywhere there's new tags they are now separated out and easier to read. So you can see like this area right here is definitely um, not indented. I think I said earlier that it indents and I'm wrong, but um, it takes each tag and what's between those tags and pretty much puts them on their own little line, making the code a whole lot easier to read as you can see. So let me show you again without that. We'll say more here. It's all jumbled, almost all on just one long line. Every once in a while there's a new line, but for the most part, very difficult to sort through and read. But piping it into XML lint dash dash HTML dash dash format and then a dash for standard output, we can now see that things are definitely, you can see where the header starts, where the body starts, where the div tags are, the li tags are everything is much easier to read and it saves you the trouble of the way I used to do this and I still do it when I forget about this program is uh, I used to like use said to replace tags with new lines and all this stuff where this application pretty much does it for you and as always you can use Google or the man file to find out more because there are a lot of other options I just showed you you know one basic use of it but you can see there's a lot of options in there read through those if you have any questions also think about if you have uh, any questions on anything feel free to uh, join us in filmsitechris.com forward slash irc that's chris with the k there should be a link in the description of that feel free to comment below but i don't answer questions in the comments anymore if you have questions go to the irc channel i just just, just mentioned also check out my site filmsbychris.com chris with the k have all my playlists there as well as files that you can download for different things. Uh, also, if you enjoy my videos and you find them useful, uh, think about supporting the site. There are donate buttons on the site um, and uh, it will help me just continue to make videos. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.